this video I'm going to share with you how to create recurring sales receipts in QuickBooks Online. So imagine you have a customer that you want to charge $500 a month and have it automatically run and process. Okay, so a prerequisite is we're going to need to have you set up QuickBooks Payments. And to get an account, you would sign up for an account to activate it by going to the gear icon, clicking on Payments, and then you would apply for a payments account. Now there are fees associated with this, so be aware that when you create your customer sales receipts um, to accept payments, or that you're aware that QuickBooks is gonna charge you a fee to do that, so make sure your prices include that. Once you have your QuickBooks payments account set up, then you would need to go to the uh, recurring transactions which we can get from the gear icon from there we go to recurring transactions and we're gonna click new and you'll get an opportunity to see these drop downs here so let's go ahead and select sales receipt okay now the difference between a recurring sales receipt and a recurring invoice. A recurring invoice um, means that there'll be a, accounts receivable on that that there needs another action to be paid on that. But the benefit of a sales receipt is this will accept payment on the spot. So if you're wanting to charge a customer $500 a month for consulting services and have it last a, a year or go forever until you cancel it, this would be the option that you want right here recurring sales receipt. So first select your customer. So I'll go ahead and select my customer here. I'll want it to email every time we receive this. Okay. And the intervals um, would be monthly. Now if I wanted to be quarterly I would just have to change this to three every three months here. But in my case every month I'll pick the start date to be the first October 1, 24. And then from here, I could say none. That means it's going to be a $500 consulting fee every month until we cancel it. But if I have a specific scope in mind, I could actually go in and say, you know, run it for a year, that kind of thing. So as you see fit here. Next, what we would do is we would apply the payment method. Now, my account's a demo, so I can't show you this here. But if this was an account with the payments, you would select either uh, bank or credit card, you know, check, enter in their ACH information, their account number, routing number. If you have a credit card, it would prop populate for you to enter the credit card, expiration date. As soon as you do that, very important, very important, there's gonna be a little checkbox that says, I have authorization from my customer to charge them for this. So make sure that is checked and QuickBooks will also give you a template where you could share with them and fill it out and they could sign an engagement with this auto payments here. Okay, the last thing you, you have to do is you have to set up the product service for what you would like. So I'll go ahead and do consulting. I'm gonna just say monthly service fee and a rate of $500. Okay, so at that point of time, I would just simply double check everything here. Here's my customer, here's the order. This is gonna go for one year. I'm automatically emailing. If I wanted to CC somebody on that, I could do that here. Now, it's important that on um, when it triggers, it usually triggers around two o'clock or three o'clock in the morning. Um, Pacific time and there are occasions where they're late and it might the latest I've had mine hit is like 10 a.m. in the, in the morning 11 a.m. and you know th there could be that but it, it will it it should <laughs> trigger on the on the pattern that you see for your fans so double check everything good to go save template and that's it and then of course you need to follow up and manage that whenever a payment is made you get an email from QuickBooks payments saying 
payment has been received and we would just want to make sure that you know the money funnels back into your bank account and we can reconcile that so all right uh thanks for watching guys mm -hmm.